Hi, my name is Lindsay Maestri. I'm the executive director here at Luca, which is where you're at today. And I'm here in our main gallery space, and we're going to take a tour of all four gallery spaces that we have here in our main building. This is a brand new show that just went up. Uh, it's called From Texas About Texas. It includes several artists from Texas uh, that that make work largely about Texas, just as the title says. We're doing virtual tours today, obviously, because uh, we will be closed for First Friday Art Trail, which would be the opening of these exhibitions. So we wanted to really feature the artist um, and highlight them in a virtual way so that their work could still get out there and could be shown. Uh, in this exhibition, we have several pieces from each artist. Um, we have uh, Woodrow Blagg um, does these large black and whites. There's one on this end of the wall and then two towards the other. And um, they are graphite on paper. So they look like large black and white photographs of either tex Texas landscape or sort of uh, abandoned spaces, maybe in homestead spaces, but they're actually hand-drawn graphite. Uh, and he's from the Dallas area. And then another artist from the Dallas area, Linda Blackburn, uh, she paints these scenes that really look like uh, old Hollywood kind of version of Texas, these westerns. Um, it almost feels like you're looking at a movie still sometimes when you're looking at her work. And then we also have Ken Little, who is a really well-known and celebrated uh, Texas sculptor. He is a, um, was the sculpture professor at UTSA for a number of years in San Antonio. Uh, this piece here, this deer piece made out of shoes um, and sort of a boot there up through the middle of that, uh, making those nods to Western wear. We have some more work by Linda Blackburn. Um, again, just looks like a, you know, a still directly out of a movie, out of kind of old Hollywood nods to the, to the Western or ideas of the West. And then uh, some more of the, um, Woodrow Blag, Blag's work, um, again, sort of that abandoned homestead space. We almost think we're um, in an old abandoned building or something um, in sort of this uh, isolated uh, space. Um, but graphite on paper, again, looks just like a black and white photograph, but it's graphite on paper. Um, on this wall, on the other side, um, we have some work from uh, Chad Plunkett who is the executive director of uh, the Charles Adams Studio Project, sort of our neighboring organization that's on three sides of us here at LUCA. Um, this whole show was supposed to be a part of the uh, Texas Painting Symposium, which, the, uh, which te uh, Texas Tech University was putting on um, and the School of Art but the symposium got canceled, um, but we were still so glad to be able to put up the exhibitions. So this, this one um, kind of plays with the idea of line. Chad's work plays with line and drawing kind of in, a, in an interesting way for a three-dimensional artist to be looking at two-dimensional things um, and working with line. So that's how he got included in this, you know, primarily painting or drawing exhibition. Um, we also have B.C. Gilbert, who's a a former Lubbockite, but now is in Wichita Falls. Uh, these are prairie flowers. So these bright poppy sort of abstracted ideas of the prairie. We also have John Fleming, who paints sort of, uh, they always feel like, like rural life or small town Texas in a way. Um, again, kind of that nod to old ideas of Texas. And then some more of John Fleming's work, again, um, those nods to, to spaces in Texas, that kind of rural landscape or that, um, you know, that small town that you may come through that has that beautiful little downtown, um, but kind of looking at that vintage feel of it. Um, a, a beach, you know, in Texas we have not only the desert, but we also have beaches. <laughs> and then uh, probably my favorite piece um, and this show is kind of an, a nod to old Austin. Um, you know, you see Sam's Barbecue, um, this kind of restaurant that's been all sort of pieced together as you think of like an old barbecue place would be. And the line again plays really nicely with, um, with Chad's work, kind of that play in that line back and forth. Um, and again, NBC Gilbert's Flowers here. 
and then also some more pieces um, by Chad Plunkett. Kind of, you get that adobe feel, you get uh, a structure of some sort forming out of those. And then I also really like that the um, material he's using feels like a fence material. It feels like something that would belong on a ranch. Um, but he's used it to construct these sort of loosely architectural uh, sculptures that, that hang on the wall. Um, so we can go look at another exhibition that's new for us if we want to. So in our uh, studio gallery here, we also have another new show for us. It's called Town and Country. Um, it's a juried exhibition, so it's actually a national juried exhibition, um, but the artists that applied were asked to either be from Texas or have a strong connection to Texas. So you grew up in Texas, you had some sort of connection in some way, or you went to school here. Um, so that's kind of the thing that holds that together a little bit. But again, this exhibition was put together as a part of that Texas Painting Symposium. Um, through, uh, through TTU. And so um, the juror, Chad Dawkins, was really looking at work that um, expands the idea of what painting can be or what painting is. So in this exhibition, you see things that are more traditional painting, and then you also see things that are very loosely painting. Um, and the, the entire symposium was meant to explore that topic of what painting is and what painting can be. So town and country, again, kind of thinking about those two concepts of Texas. We've got, um, you know, the major cities that we think about in Texas, um, and then also the country version of Texas. Um, if, you, if you live here or you're, you've been here or from here, um, you know that there are those kind of two separate spaces that exist in this state, um, and both are very prominent. Um, so you've got uh, a piece here that kind of makes a nod to that big sky of Texas. Um, and all of that blue. Um, you've got work from artists across Texas and then some that are out of state as well that, that do again have that tie to Texas. Catherine Allen here is the first place um, winner for the exhibition. So with a juried show, typically you get, um, you get prizes for the show. So artists apply to be a part of the show and then they, they might win a cash prize if the juror selects their work uh, to be the top work in the show, um, which is the case for this. Just a, a real variety of, of work um, throughout the show. You'll see different formats. Uh, John Chen here is a Lubbock artist. Um, he actually a lot of times uses an airbrush to create his uh, paintings on these panels. Adam Farkas, a fiber piece here. Uh, they don't speak for us, so you kind of see this cowboy uh, fabric. There are a number of things, you know, that this message may be saying to the viewer. Um, but, you know, you can kind of infer from maybe that it's that, that the idea, that classic idea of Texas or maybe of painting isn't what all of us are about. Um, we can also see some nods maybe to um, gender identities or... Um, other things that the artist is thinking about personally as they think about this idea of not one speaking for everyone. Uh, kind of a more classically abstract piece. And then we get into um, pieces that are digitally done. So digital painting is really growing, um, is a growing uh, genre of painting. And this is a digital painting by Emily Potts. Um, another fiber piece. by Casey Galloway. Um, again, a large crocheted piece that really uh, talks about painting by Jane Smith. It's, you know, it, it is a painting. It has painting on it, right? It's been painted, but it's a large crocheted piece. So you see a lot of different topics um, and subjects, which you usually do within a juried show, um, but they're all kind of loosely based around uh, the juror Chad Dawkins' idea of you know, what contemporary painting is or what contemporary painting can be. This is an exhibition by Brie, Land, uh, Brie Lamb and Rebecca Drolin. Um, it's called Something Familiar. And the interesting thing is that it's two separate bodies of work, but they have that overlap in the fact that what they're talking about is recontextualizing something familiar. 
So for Brie Lamb, um, she's recontextualizing uh, everyday objects, domestic objects. So she takes these objects and takes them out of the space we would typically see them in. So we might see something like a handheld mirror, but the background is completely void. It's just a color. So it really makes us think about that object in a different way and think about domestic objects and how we use them and consume them. And then Rebecca Dolan, uh, again, something familiar, the female body um, is what she talks about. But instead of this idea of taking hair away or taking teeth away, taking um, always taking things away from the female body to make it uh, smaller um, and more vulnerable, she adds things to the female body. So she's always adding hair into her photographs or she's adding, um, in some instances, you'll see that she adds maybe balloons under the skin using a, um, you know, a pantyhose to make the female body feel bigger um, and more abundant. She also has a, a video piece here. Um, entitled No. We just see this finger wagging and then the ponytail swaying back and forth. This piece, we've got that idea of taking hair away, but that hair is still on there. So you've got the, the shaving cream and the liquid, um, but the hair is still there and it's really highlighted with that um, lamp on it. Kind of these isolated body parts um, by masking what's around it. And that's really the same thing that Brie Lamb does too by taking these um, everyday objects and taking the background out of them. They're both sort of isolating things to highlight them. And this show is on display for an extra month um, because obviously with, uh, you know, COVID-19 restrictions, our artists didn't want to travel back. They're both from out of state. Um, one's currently in Arkansas and one's in New Mexico. New Mexico. Um, and so they, they couldn't quite travel back right now to come pick up the show. And it was a perfect time for us to be able just to leave it up for an extra month. So it will be here all the rest of the month and we're excited to still have it up. This is the Youth, uh, youth Art Month exhibition. Um, again, leaving this show up for another month, we had an artist um, who was not able uh, to bring the work in. That's something that galleries face uh, quite a bit with uh, right now, you know, we're, we're constantly shuffling things and looking at ways that we can still uh, have shows up and present them when artists aren't able to bring in the work that we had planned to bring in. Um, but we do love this show. It's Youth Art Month. So typically that's in March every year. It'll be up for March and April this year. Uh, the kiddos are out of school right now, so it's perfectly fine to leave it up a little longer. Um, but LISD, um, Lubbock ISD, uh, has um, this program that's run for years and Luca exhibits uh, the Blue Ribbon R winners every year. So every school in Lubbock ISD has at least one or two pieces here representing their school. Um, we work really closely with the art teachers in Lubbock who are fantastic. Um, and as you'll see, um, really talented young artists coming out of uh, you know, out of the show and out of this program. Um, if you have a young artist at home and you want to find things for them to do, uh, you can check out Luca's social media uh, at Luca um, at Luca Lubbock uh, for Facebook and Instagram, and we have some virtual art projects online. So we would love for you to jump on there and check those out and keep those kiddos making. But enjoy the show.